and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you again for joining me today on another episode. All right, on today's episode, we're continuing to look at Topaz Studio 2. Today, we're looking at the HSL color filter, I believe it's called. Let me throw my glasses on. Let's click Add Filter here, and HSL Color Tuning. That's the name of the filter, HSL Color Tuning. Um, this is a really cool filter, uh, and it's all about color and changing color. So let's give it a click and see what it does here. Of course, we have all the typical things that all Topaz filters have in Topaz Studio 2. We have our opacity for the overall filter effect. We have the blend modes here. We have our presets here. And then here we have, you'll notice it says color, hue, saturation, and lightness. Now, under color, you'll notice that you see overall hue, overall, hue, overall saturation, and overall lightness. And this first block here represents all the colors in our image. So if I take this overall hue here and just move it left and right. Oh, look at that. Psychedelic, man. I just need some nice disco music playing and we could have a little party. So that's kind of cool. But that's the overall hue there. Now, if you want to ever get this back to zero, just double click on the word overall hue. That'll get you back to the center detent. And then your colors are broken down. You have your reds, your oranges, your yellows. And whatever you want, whichever color you want, you just hover over that color and then give it a click. But notice one thing. When I hover over these colors, can you see in this area, you'll see these little diagonal lines going through. See where the reds are? Maybe I'll zoom in here and you'll see it. The reds, there's the yellows, and you'll see some lines going through there. It might not show up real good here, but... When you have this filter uh, opened up on your computer, you'll see these lines. And that represents where the that particular color would be at. Okay, so if I wanted to affect, say, my yellow tones, I'd click on yellow here. And then I have the yellow hue. I can change the hue of the yellow, see how the yellows are changing. So I might want to just change that up a little bit. And there's so much power here in this filter, so you can get really cool effects here and really alter the uh, colors of your image. Because I'm all about uh, photo art and you as the photographer artist, you're the master of your image and you can make that image look however you want it to look. It's really up to you. There are no uh, uh, photography police out there to get you. So don't worry about listening for sirens to come wailing and, you know, for them to come and you know, put you in handcuffs and arrest you. You can do whatever you want. And Topaz gives us this ability that we can do this. And this filter I really love a lot. So we can alter our hues here of our color yellow. We can take the saturation up or back, however we like it. You know, whatever, whatever suits your eyes here. Whatever suits your taste or mood or flavor of the day. And then, of course, we have lightness. We can brighten those colors up or down. Now, it's only affecting the color that I have clicked here. So I can adjust, go, come to my reds here, give the reds a click, and I can say, let's make our reds a little darker. So I can darken up the reds, get them just the way I like them, and let's increase their saturation or decrease their saturation. Uh, adjust their hue a little bit, get them looking just the way we want them to look, maybe somewhere in there. And this is cool too. You see this where it says details here, and Topaz does this a lot in a lot of the different filters. You'll notice a lot of times they'll add this little detail slider here, and I really like that because you can come in here and just bump up your details. See the details bump up? And if you're getting some artifacting, you can use the suppress artifacts and get rid of that, and that's cool. And this color sensitivity is nice, so if you move it to the right, you'll make uh, the colors more sensitive. In other words, you'll pick up more red tones if you move this color sens sensitivity up to the right, or if you move it back, you'll just center in mainly on the reddest tones, so that's kind of nice. And remember, to get these sliders back, just double-click on the name of the slider that gets it back. So then you have all these different colors that are broken down here. And remember, these little diagonal lines will help you find out where those colors are sitting on your image, okay? And then you also have gray, so you can adjust the gray tones of your image as well. And let's just go ahead and click that and see what we get here. So let's do gray lightness. See the gray tones? I can make those lighter or lighter or darker, depending what we like here. And that's kind of nice right there. Or I can take the saturation out of the grays. Okay. So see, when I pull that saturation up on the gray here, we're adding some, there's some like pink tones or red tones getting in there. I may not want those in there, so I can pull that back and get rid of any color in my grays. Okay. So that's kind of nice. And then these other um, adjustments here, the hue, saturation, and lightness. Let's click on hue and you'll see what we got here. 
So now when we're on hue, this is just breaking down all the colors here. You have all, all for all colors. You have the red, orange, green, you know, red, orange, I should say yellow, green, aqua, and so on. And we can just come here and uh, greens, we can just, you know, move our slider for greens. Change the hue of the greens, double click the green, get it back. Or if I want to change the hue of my blues, maybe make those blues a little more purple going towards magenta so we can do that. So that's kind of nice. Then we can come here with saturation and just work on the saturation of each color. Uh, let's take our blue saturation and increase it or decrease it. So that's nice. And of course the lightness. Uh, what if we wanted our yellows to be darker? We can darken those up. So you have two different ways of working here. You can either uh, come here and click on color and go with these blocks. And that's generally the way I like to do it. Or you have your choice of hitting uh, the hue, the saturation, and lightness, and working with all the colors there. So it's a pretty easy filter to use, but it's super, super powerful. And I really enjoy it a lot. Well, I hope this video helped you out today. Get in there into Topaz Studio 2 and start altering some of your colors. Just experiment and have some fun with it. I think you'll have a really good time with this one. Well, thanks again for joining me today in the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click that bell notification icon. And uh, you'll be informed of all the new videos I'm putting out. Well, thanks for everything that you guys do for me. Thank you for your support. And... I will see you again next time right here on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly.